Hi there guys and welcome to Carrie's Designs. I wanted to show you two planners that I plan on using this this year. Um, I'm using my Filofaxes but I'm using them for different things not for planning purposes. Um, I like to use them as journals and all kinds of journals. So um, I found this one actually at um, TJ Maxx and it's the Pip Studio 2014 planner and it's about um, I think it's five by seven and I love it. It was like $3.99 and there's some more information if you want to go to the website. Um, but check out your TJ Maxx because mine still has tons of them for $3.99. So I love the graphics in this. This is perfect. This is just like me. So there's all these, you know, there's personal information and then um, 2014, 2015, and look at the graphics, they're so cute. Uh, you know, to notify in case of emergency, notes, um, there's your 2014 planned out, so this is all the weekends I work, and then I've got to get other kids and stuff activities and husband's activities in there yet. There's a holidays, and there's my holidays, and then this is 2015. <clears throat> And this is weekly, so um, it doesn't have a month calendar in there, but it just goes weekly. And I thought these were so cute because I love the graphics on them. And I just, there were three um, ribbons here. I cut them off because they were kind of annoying, so I just used my little owl as the week, current week I'm on. But it is so, look at that, it is so stinking cute how the graphics are, you know, they're different almost every other page. So, in the back, there is a section for your birthdays, like your perpetual birthdays. So, you can put their dates in there. And then, um, favorite movies and your addresses. And, I think, favorite met websites and things like that. So, I thought this was adorable. This is going to go in my purse. Um, I was carrying a file flax, but I... <sighs> I like to decorate, or I don't, sometimes I do like to decorate, sometimes I don't, and on this I don't really <laughs> have to decorate because it's already pretty. <laughs> so, um, the only thing is I wish this, this, um, cover was a little bit more pliable. It's a little harder than I'd like, so I am on the search for 12 by 12 grunge paper from Tim Holtz. If anybody has some or knows where I can get some, let me know. I just need, like, one sheet, um, because how it comes normally is... I think it's, it's, the max is like six inches and, um, this is seven and I need a 12 by 12 so I can maybe take the cover off this and put on my own little pliable cover, but if not, I'm going to use the way it is. So there's that. And then, um, I had seen on one of the Facebook pages that, um, one of the girls had, um, it's a Mormon mom's, Mormon mom planner and in the planner there were some really really good things but however myself not being Mormon it wouldn't apply to me a lot so I checked the website and they had it's the Mormon mom planner and I think there's an email address in the planner itself and um, there's one that, that's just called mom on the go so I thought this was really good I think this was like 30 I want to say it was like $35, but I can't remember. I think it was $35, I think. I pre-ordered this, and I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Um, I think there's more left, but they do a one-time printing, and once they're gone, they're gone. So, um, But this is an awesome planner. It has so many good ideas in it. And um, it's got a nice laminated cover, and you get to choose your... Uh, you get a choice of different covers. And I just thought this was adorable. So the front and back are laminated. And then you open it up and there is, um, and it lies flat, which is really, really nice. So I like the fact that it lies a lot, that it lies flat. There is also, the tabs are in a cute little font. And they're laminated as well. And, um... Every, you know, there's just cute, really cute little sayings about being mother and godly and things like that. 
who this belongs to. Um, and then I like, really, really like this. It's very colorful. Um, I love the year at a glance. And again, I can circle the things that I, where I work. Birthdays and anniversaries, again, a lot of the planners have these, but I like this one too. I was thinking about cutting this down and sticking it in one of my um, Filofaxes, but um, it is, I think, six by nine. So I would cut off a lot of this border, and I really didn't want to do that because that's the beauty of it is it's got this colorful stuff. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Family, friends, and contacts, important information, and I haven't filled any of this out yet because I wanted to do the video on it. So um, I'm going to fill that out as soon as I get done with this video. Um, info online, favorite blogs, blogs to check. Um, a few of my favorite things for 2014. So I thought this was cute. Movies, food, books, pastimes, sports, dreams, wishes, that kind of thing. It's just nice to look back. And again, um, the tabs are laminated. And it just has a, um, a quote here. <clears throat> at the beginning of January, at the beginning of every month, I love this. It says, um, how can I strengthen my relationship with my God, my spouse, my children, my extended family, and friends? So, and then it's got a little heart here. So I put, I filled out some things. I'm going to fill out some more. And then it's got a month at a glance and um, nice and big letter, or nice and big blocks that I really, really like. There's notes over here, and then the next two months are right here. So I think this is great. I, I'm really, really liking this. And I have a feeling I use this a lot. For January, um, you've got uh, things you want to read, people you want to visit, places you want to visit. And again, I haven't filled all this out because I wanted to show you it to you. And then you can put a quote here or a picture here or something. Home action plan, work action plan, community action plan, self action plan. And then your monthly budget, which I don't really do. My husband does uh, the budget. Um, but I can, I might just start s seeing what I spend and then adjust from there. And then pray for people you want to pray for, call or write, and gifts to give. Um, and then again, there's like these little blank spots that you could put quotes or stickers or, you know, pictures or whatever. And then it goes a week at a time. The only thing I'm not quite sure I I have to get used to is it's Sunday through Saturday and my mon or my weeks always start on a Monday so I'm gonna have to get used to that a little bit um, especially with project life so I'm really gonna have to figure out how to readjust a little bit but that's okay um, you know to do and then it's got prayer read exercise and meditation which I really really like this idea an awful lot um, because that way I can know what I'm doing or I know what I've done and you know if I need to read I need to take time to read exercising yes I need to exercise meditation for sure in prayer because there are things you know to ask um, and pray for and then there's little boxes here and I love these because you can put anything you want in these and then remember this or note to self and um, it's got three things and I think what I'm going to use these for is like me, the kids, and my husband are ho home or work or school. So I have to decide how I'm going to use these yet. There's tons of um, retail or um, there's tons of space to write on these. So every week, you know, it does it every week. It's the same thing. And then <clears throat> there's February. And again, you you know fill this out. And let's see, let's see if I have it in here. Try, and there's little, there's um, notes at the end of each month. Let's see here. These are so cute. So, like for, let me see. Okay, for April, they have, and I thought this was so cool, Easter. We have Easter at our house every year. And I thought this was really, really neat because I can take my, I can put all the stuff I have to do instead of having a separate notebook, which I do. Um, I can take all the stuff I have to do, decorations, traditions, miscellaneous, and the things that people are making and the stuff I'm making and favorite recipe. 
uh, which will probably be uh, the ham um, sauce, the, the sauce we put over our ham. So I thought that was really cute. And it, again, you have different, if you have different, you know, celebrations at Easter or a couple of celebrations at Easter, it'll work great for that. And then that's what really sold me on this. I thought this was very, very cool. And then let's see, we also have in November, November has at the end Thanksgiving. And we had Thanksgiving for the first time at our house. And um, they have the Thanksgiving, gobble till you wobble. And it's just thankful for family. And it has the same things. So that was really, really neat and miscellaneous. For Christmas, it has, let's see, let me find it. It's got a year in review, the highlights. So every month, what I kind of want to do is at the end of every month, write the highlights for that month. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then Christmas to do decorations. Have yourself a very Merry Christmas and appetizers and what everybody's going to cook or whatever. Recipe. And then a gift, get, a gift, Christmas gift planning. And so I thought that was really, really neat. Um, ho, ho, ho. And the, again, that's the gift planning. And buy, make, or wrap, which is really, really cute. And then you can put the names right here of who it is. And they've got, you know, how many gifts you're going to get or whatever. Um, stocking stuffers. Online shopping. And the stores. All right, and then you've got parents, extended family that you can give gifts to, your friends, and the church, of course. So, and then it's got Christmas gift giving for neighbors, and there's the Christmas card, so you can put their name and their address. <clears throat> and that is, oh, there's a little bit. There's a tab called Home and Family. Home and Family, and... Um, it just has different things, you know, of this conversation starters to start with your kids at dinner or whatever. Um, the little things and birthday plans. So um, for birthday plans, you can put the shoe size, the pant size, and that kind of thing. And there's a, quite a few of those for everybody. It looks like everybody in your family. So I thought that was really cool too. There's quite a few of those. Together forever, what you know you want to do, um, family ideals, and which I kind of I really like this a mission statement. I've been wanting to do that mission statement for a while for my family, so I think we're all going to sit down and we're going to brainstorm and come up with one of those. So working together, who does what, and thank you cards for when you need to send them, and financial management, uh, their debt elimination calendar which is pretty cool. Prepare everything. Um, like if you have a, um, you know, a disaster in your area, what you would need for that. A house of order, what you need to do in your house. To clean daily. And which I won't do too much until I retire probably. Vaca and how to plan for vacation. So this is just a cool, cool, I love this, this planner. And, um, I, uh, I'm so glad I got this, but I just wanted to go over those two, and this again is called Mom on the Go, and it's the Mormon Mom Planner, and it is very, very cool. I like it. Um, so check out these two if you get time, and um, that's all I've got for right now. Talk to you later. Bye.